play. Hi. I came by your place earlier, but you, uh, you'd already left. Right, and, um, how's I supposed to know you were coming? Well, I'm not angry. I just thought it'd be nice if we uh, walked to school together. <laughs> right, and you expect me to just, just wait around for you? I do have a life of my own, you know. Yeah, I know. But... So when are you trying out for the band? Lunchtime. Teagan about Colt. What about him? Well, Justine thinks that he's a bit of a user and that he only cares about himself. You know what? I don't give a flying fig at what Justine thinks. Personally, I think she's got a problem with the whole world. You can't keep your nose out of things, can you? Pardon? Who are you to say anything about me to Joey? You're lying to him, Tegan. He's supposed to be your boyfriend. Don't tell me how to be moral. I know what I'm doing. Well, so why don't you grow up for ten seconds? I mean, you think you're something special, don't you? But your cult's got a different girl unbuttoning herself. Oh, from right, and what would you know? I know you're treating Joey like dirt. Tegan, could I have a minute? Can't it wait? No, it can't. It's just all your fault. I want to know what's going on. What do you mean? What do I mean? What's going on with you and Colt? That's what. Nothing. There is no story. Tegan, why do you insist? Oh, on there up... is no story. I'm trying out for his band. That's all. She must think I'm stupid. Ah, oh, man, don't worry about it. It's just chicks being weird. You must think I'm stupid too. So, do you think I was all right? Yeah, you're all right. Well, my voice was a bit high today. I mean, I can normally round it off. Whatever. God, I normally just get out of bed this time of day. You guys eating? You're gonna eat? No, no, we better get back to school. Oh, forget then. school, okay? So I guess you gotta talk to the guy. No, 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 it's my call. You're in my hands. So, Sugar Plum? Yeah? Why don't you, um, why don't you go over there and get me a coffee and a mug cake? Sure. Oh, and Tegan? Yeah? You're in. <gasps> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Whatever. I can't believe you actually wanted me in the van. Well, you know, you're saying well taken, you deserve it. You know, getting into Monkey Jam, it makes this practically one of the best days of my life, you know? It's like something exciting is finally happening to me and I'm not going to be stuck in nowhere's well all my life. You don't know Tegan the way I do. She'll be doing this just to spite me. You're right. She will. Think about it, Justine. When she was younger, the only way she ever got attention was by doing something wrong. So nowadays, when she feels insecure or lonely, all she has to do is do something bad, and she's going to get the attention. That's exactly what she's doing now. Ah, Tegan. She comes across as this real big toughie who doesn't need anyone to look after her, but underneath it all, <laughs> underneath it, she is so naive. But she hasn't even got a clue what these bang guys are into. All I need to do is get her on her own, calm her down, and then talk to her. After that, she'll come round. I can guarantee it, Justine, she always does. Tegan and I, we're a team. Morning. Hi. Tegan, we've got to talk. No, we don't. So that's it, is it? We're through? I, d I didn't say that. No, you didn't. You're not saying anything. What am I, some kind of mind reader? Is that how you expect me to know what's going on? Joey, I just need some space, OK? Space? You kept telling me that I was giving you too much space. Meet me down at the diner for lunch and we'll sort it out. OK, we'll talk. Always spins me out seeing you guys in a school uniform. Yeah, they're pretty daggy. I don't know. <laughs> it depends who's wearing it. You're heading back to school this afternoon? Probably. Oh, it's a pity. See, I thought we could do some work on this harmony. Well, I did say probably. It doesn't mean I have to go back. That's your call. I mean, you, you're going to have to handle the rap. Well, it's only math. I think I can handle it. Cool. Well, I think we may as well head off now, then. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> nice talking to you, Mrs. Stewart. Uh, where do you think you're going? I've got rehearsals. Uh, Tia, we've got to talk. Joey, let go of me. Just, just talk to me. Please don't Later, go until you okay. talk. Don't do this. You're making a big mistake. Joey, you don't know me anymore. I can look after myself. Oh, yeah? That's where you're wrong. Uh, yeah, are you coming or are you staying? <laughs> so what? She just walked off, didn't even look back on you. Yep. I, mean, I can't believe she'd do that, man. Not to you. She's probably off someone with Colt. <sighs> yeah, look, do you want me to tell Fisher a crook or anything or what? I'll do what you like, Aaron. And he's falling pretty bad, hey? Yeah. 
It's all my fault, too. You can say that again. I shouldn't have even taken Teagan to band practice in the first place. Now, look, Aaron, Aaron, it was her choice to go after Colt in the first place. If she's going to be a dog to everyone about it, then she can face the consequences. This is a really cool car. I'm glad you like it. Um, do you think I got those harmonies right and everything? Just about spot on. Hey, you got nothing to worry about with me, okay? Not when you're with me. Hey. What are you so happy about? What? I can't believe what you've done with Joey T. Do you know how cut up he is? Why don't you worry about Joey, man? He's history now. Well, do you have a problem with that? Look, man, I just came to see when we're rehearsing, that's all, okay? No, are you okay? Since when have you cared? Man, I am so sorry that you think I had something to do with all this, okay? Look, I, I didn't know it was gonna turn out like this, all right? Man, I just wanted to play music. All this stuff happened and I was the last one to know. Second last. Man, I tried to talk to her, it's just not getting through. So she really wants him, huh? Oh, I think they're together. What do you mean? As in really together. As in the... Look, look, don't quote me, it just sound... believe this. She's only known the guy, what, two weeks? It's just a crush, man. She'll get over it. She never wanted to do it before. Or maybe she did. Maybe she just didn't want to do it with me. Those chips are getting cold. Thank you. I caught up with Joey. I... I think I just made things worse. Just stay out of it, Aaron. It's not your problem. Yeah, but it is yours. You know, T, it might help if you talk to him a little. No, it wouldn't. But don't you think you at least owe him that? I don't owe him anything. Guys, you will never believe what just happened. What? What? Guess who was supporting Greenspoon on their East Coast tour? Not us. You got it, babe. It's a six-week bus tour. It's starting in Sydney next week, and it's heading all the way up to Byron. How, how did this hell all happen? <laughs> I have my contacts. What do you think you're doing? You got a problem, <laughs> mate? Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. What do you think you're doing with Tegan, huh? Nothing. Yeah. Oh, you're pretty cut up about this, aren't you? She's my girlfriend. Correction, correction. Was your girlfriend. I worry about her, all right? Well, don't. She can take care of herself. Is that what you think? Shows how much you really know her. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I know her in ways that you never will. She's with me now, all right? A word of advice from me to you, forget about it. And by the end of next week, she'll be out of here anyway. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 she didn't tell you. She's coming on tour with me in the band. He's using you. Well, you keep your voice down and he's not using me. Why do you think he's asking you to go with him? Because he thinks he's doing you a favor? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. You really are a stupid... Shut look, up, I'm, Joey. I'm not going to shut up, okay? Because you know why? Because even though you treated me like dirt, I still care about you. But if you leave now, you're going to be letting down every person who ever had any sort of faith in you. Yeah, it's open. Oh, man. I'm not in the mood for any grief, okay? Good, because I didn't come in to give you any. I just bumped into Tegan again. She's definitely going, even if you don't. Yeah, well, it's her life. Apparently, Travis and Rebecca haven't said no. They want to meet Colt first. Why are you telling me this? Because I care about her, that's why. I can't help it, Aaron. I know what a sleazebag Colt is, and I know that he doesn't care about anyone except for himself. Well, so, Trav and Rebecca will see that and they won't let her go. Oh, he's too smart for that. 
He knows how to charm people. He's like my dad. People trust him. Oh, man, you're beginning to sound just a little paranoid. Anyway, I didn't come here to talk about him. I came to ask you a favour. Oh, let me guess. You want me to talk Tegan into staying? There's no point in that. She's already made up her mind. Well, what then, man? I want you to promise me you won't back out of this tour. Hey? You heard me. Tegan's gonna need a friend, a real friend, to look out for her. And you're the one who got her involved in this thing in the first oh, place. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. Did you give me a break. You owe her and you owe me. Think about it. Just like old times, eh? Yeah, almost. Look, he just turned up. Well, when are you guys gonna make him welcome or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You up for a game or what? Yeah, all right. Be your last chance to beat me for a while. Um, Joey, can I have a word with you for a minute? Um, yeah, the game can wait. I'll catch you later. Listen, um, I think maybe we got our wires crossed. Well, let's see, uh, Colt came along. You dumped me for him. No, no, no wires crossed there. Look, our wires were crossed long before that, and you know it. Look, you were the best friend that I ever had, but that's all it ever was. It was just friendship. Look, I didn't mean to hurt you, OK? You threw me away like a used rag. Tell me, Tegan, how is a used rag supposed to feel? Look, I'm saying that I'd like us to stay friends. Friends? <laughs> Forget it. I was just convenient to have around until you saw more glamour being in a band with Colt and his bunch of losers. Joey, what is wrong with you? You're gonna be a loser just like them, Teal. Look, look, I can't help it if, if you're jealous that I'm gonna be a professional and, and you, you don't have the talent. Talent? <laughs> talent for what? Getting stoned out of your brain? Shut up, will you? Alf or Travis had an inkling of an idea of what that band was really into. There was no way you and Aaron would be going along. Right, well, why don't you go and tell them then? I just might do that. Could I have you, Joey? Could I have your attention, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look, I, um, I hope you've all got something in your glasses, and I do realise that posts normally come after the meal, but there is something I wanted to straighten out first. Now, some of us here have um, had misgivings about Tegan and Aaron leaving our midst for the rather dubious delights of a pop group. But for any of you with those feelings, I would ask you to put them aside now and join with us in wishing Tegan and Aaron all the very best. So, um, uh, if you... Just, just a moment, I want to say something. What? Well, I'd like to say something first before you wish them good luck. Oh. Oh, all right, Joey, the floor's yours. It's about the band Aaron and Tegan are going away with. Well, spit it out. Well, I don't think it's the best, uh... The best band in the world just yet, but I think that the two people we're saying goodbye to tonight could could really change that. So, so good luck, Aaron, and good luck, Tegan. I'm, uh, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of success and a lot of fun along the way, and I know that we're all going to miss having you around here. So, uh, well, I'm glad it's only for six weeks. Well said, mate. Uh, if you'd all like to grab a table, chair, and whatever, now the uh, the prawns will be on in a minute. Thank you. Hey, man. Thanks. You guys just take care, OK? <laughs> we have a new winner. Aaron, let me win. <laughs> no, no way, man. Yes, you did. Hey, it would have been fair enough if I had, but I didn't. <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say when you got up to do that speech, eh? Exactly what I did say. Yeah, right. I'll catch up with you before I go, OK? Yeah, right. You going? Yeah, um, we're heading home. You can catch us up. OK, sure. I probably won't get a chance to see you tomorrow. No. Well, I'd better say it now. Uh, set the world alight. Look, I'm really sorry. I, I never meant to hurt you. That reminds me, Buster. What did you two think you were doing, letting me go on thinking it was John who broke into the house when you both knew who it really was, hmm? I didn't want to say anything because I thought you might not let me stay. Yeah, well, you're right there, kiddo. I don't tolerate that kind of behaviour, all right? The sneaking around or the lying. 
But I suppose we can talk about it tomorrow. What we should be doing now is organising where everyone's going to sleep. Uh, Joey, love, can you make room for Will? I'll um, get some spare bedding. Oh, Will, love, um, could you... Didn't expect to see me. 